There are a couple of different ways that you may be asked to find a percentage of a number on the GED test. The first way is if you're asked to find a percentage of some particular number. In this case, we're asked to find 16% of 138. Here, all you'll have to do is take this percentage and change it to a decimal. We do this by moving the decimal point in the number 16, which is assumed to be behind the 6, and move it two places to the left. 1, 2, making it 0.16. Now we take that and multiply it times the number we're trying to find it as a percentage of. So in this case, 138. Now when we take 0.16 and multiply it times 138, the answer should be 22.08. So 16% of 138 is 22.08. In this one, we're given 12.5%, and we're asked to find it of 38. So here, we're still going to have to move that decimal point, but we already have one in this problem. So we just move it two places to the left to make the decimal 0.125. And just like last time, we're going to multiply it times our 38 here. So 0.125 times 38 should get us 4.75. So 4.75 is 12.5% of 38. This 12.5% may also have been laid out as 12 and 1 half percent because 12 and a half and 12.5 are the same amount. Here are a few more for practice. The first one is asking you to find 38% of 29. And that second one is asking you to find 16.6% .6 of 54. Just like always, pause the video if you need more time. The top one is 38%. So we change that to a decimal by making it 0.38. And we're going to multiply it times 29. So this one should come out to be 11.02. So 11.02 is 38% of 29. That bottom one, we're going to have to turn the 16.6 .6 into a decimal by making it 0.166 and take it and multiply it times 54. Here our answer should be 8.964. So 16.6% .6 of 54 is 8.964. Here are a few that trip people up, so I decided to include them in this video. 0% of any number is always going to be 0, because if you have 0% of it, you have nothing. And the other tricky one is if you have 100% of some number. This is always going to be that number. So if you have 100% of 50, you have 50. 100% of 700 is 700. And if you have all 100% of 31, then you have 31. Don't let these trip you up. Now we're looking for a percentage of a number. This one is asking, 8 is what percentage of 16? I recommend setting these up as fractions. And remember that fractions are a part over a whole. So the whole amount here is 16, so that'll go on the bottom. And the part that we're looking at is 8. So as a fraction, that's 8 over 16. And remember from the fractions section that Fractions are the same thing as dividing. So do 8 divided by 16. You should get 0 0.5 or 0.50. Once you've got this decimal, move your decimal point two places to the right to make it a percentage. So this turns into 50%. So 8 is 50% of 16. Don't worry, we'll do a few more of these because they are tricky the first few times you go through them. In this one we're asked 7 is what percentage of 49? So just like last time, set it up as a fraction first so you know where all your numbers go. We have 7 over 49, which is the same as 7 divided by 49. 49 won't go into 7, so we'll have to put a decimal point and a zero. Now 49 will go into 70 one time. 
1 times 49 being 49. So that we can subtract and get 21. Put another 0 and bring it down. So now it's 49 into 210. This should go 4 times because 49 times 4 should get us 196. And we can subtract this and get 14. We'll just bring down one more zero so that 49 goes into 140 twice with 49 times 2 being 98. We can stop here because we just need three numbers to the right of that decimal point. Because when we move our decimal point over two places we get 14.2. So 7 is 14.2% of 49. Here is the last of the percentage problems. You're asked 8 is 16 percent of what number? So here we have to find that whole amount. So I recommend setting this up as a ratio with one fraction being equal to another fraction. So the part we're looking at is 8 and we don't know what the number is that 8 is a part of, so I'll just put in W to represent the whole amount. Now the percentage side is pretty easy to fill out because 16 is the part we're looking at and the whole percentage is of course 100. Now you just cross multiply. So you do the top left and multiply it times the bottom right. So 8 times 100 gives us 800. Then you do W times 16 which gives us 16W. Here we can just do 800 divided by 16 and that should get us to 50. So that W is 50 or the whole amount is 50. So 8 is 16% of 50. Here's another one. Work it out and see what you get first before you play my answer. So go ahead and pause the video here. In this one, we're given 9 is 20% of what number? So just like last time, set it up as a ratio. 9 is the part we're looking at. We don't know what that whole number is, but we know that it's equal to 20% out of 100. And just like last time, cross multiply. So 9 times 100 giving us 900. And then divide by the 20. So 900 divided by 20 should get us 45. Therefore, 9 is 20% of 45.